Here's a technique we've been working on in class. It's a basic mount escape using a bridging shrimp, getting to close guard, and once they're breaking your opponent down, the two on one grip and attacking an arm bar by putting your leg on their shoulder. Um, this is a great way to practice the basics of grappling, uh, most importantly, being able to escape a mount and then be offensive while on your back. While this version of the mount escape is a little bit more advanced, um, I'd rather start teaching our kids and students it earlier. So by the time they become more intermediate and proficient, they have an effective, legitimate mount escape that they can use against more skilled opponents. Same goes for this arm bar. It's not the traditional um, beginner version. It's pretty advanced, but more effective. So now we'll break things down a little slower. Uh, first, you want to get in position with your opponent above your hips so that when you bridge, they're actually moving. I turn on my hip and I need to access PJ's foot by flaring my bottom knee outwards. And then my top leg comes over and I use my foot as a hook at her ankle. Uh, as I lift up her foot, I'm pushing her knee down, making it weightless, allowing my bottom leg to pass underneath. Then I plant my outside leg and then I shrimp outwards by retracting my knee to my face, keeping my arms there as frames and allowing me to get to my closed guard. Now we'll get a two on one grip on our opponent's wrist. Their posture's up, so we gotta break them down by bringing our hips up and pulling their hands off our hips, squeezing your knees inwards and bringing your knees to your face, using your legs as well to break down their posture. Now from here, I make it even more secure by punching my cross arm deep at her elbow and then I'm gonna make sure that her posture stays down even more by holding her head down with a grip on the back of her neck. From here I take an angle opening my guard and putting my leg on her shoulder. Essentially a triangle but her arms are inside. The leg that's on the shoulder, that foot is on the bottom of your lock. Now I can release her head and I punch my arm deep again through her arm, making sure it's elbow to elbow. And then my opposite arm reaches on the inside of her knee, allowing me to pull my head in line with their hand. This allows our spines to be perpendicular. And then I release my leg and I curl down on the back of her neck with my hamstring. Once you get to this position, you can let go of the knee and both hands grab the wrist and ensure that the elbow is nice and deep on your hip. I pull the I pull the arm as close as possible to my face, rotating her wrist so that the thumb is facing the ceiling. This signifies that her elbow is on my body. I pull the hand to the ground and get the tap.
when you bridge before your hips fall down, you're going to get all the way on your hip. And then notice how my bottom knee flares outwards. This brings her foot in line with my top hook. And if you can't reach the foot, use this knee to really flare their foot outwards. And then your knee has to be facing the ceiling so that you can lift the foot upwards. You can also hook it from the outside of the leg, um, whatever works for you. As you lift, push the knee down even more and get your bottom leg outside. Then immediately plant that foot, straighten the leg that's in between their legs and then shrimp straight outwards. You're not going underneath the bottom of the other leg. You're now just shrimping away, pulling your knee to your face, squaring your hips back straight to the ground and closing your guard. Now there's gonna be a degree of hand fighting here, so we're looking for the easiest grip, which is two hands on the wrist, pulling their posture in, using your legs, squeezing inwards and pulling them close. And then once I get them down, their arm is right on my center line. I make it even tighter by getting a cross grip on her elbow. Again, I have short legs and PJ's posture is pretty good. So I need to pull her down even more with my opposite arm. Now you can open your guard. I need to hip out a little bit to the side to allow my leg to get on her shoulder. Once you get here, cross your ankles nice and tight and keep their posture down by pulling your feet to your face. Now, as long as their posture is down, you can let go of the head and switch grips on the arm. This is the trickiest part. You need to throw your leg over their face, but you need to move your hips first. You need to have your spines as perpendicular as possible. So I use my right hand, but I'm grabbing the inside of her knee and pulling my head close to her hips. Then I can swing my leg over and keep their posture down by imagining a leg curl. Yeah. Engage your hamstring. Keeping their posture down now, you can get two hands on the wrist. Pull it as much as possible to your face and don't pull the arm to your tummy. Pull your arm to the ground, giving you a greater plane to hip up and break. <laughs> 